Hey everybody, thanks for joining Jesse and me today. We're gonna do a little Facebook action for you today. A little live recipe, we're gonna call it Lucky Leprechaun Spring Rolls. And of course, every Lucky Leprechaun Spring Roll has to have a Lucky Leprechaun sauce. So, Yum. here's the sauce right here. Let's get right into it, Jess, what Let's do you think? Let's get right into it. All right, so to make the sauce, it's a very mustardy sauce because it's Irish, it's corned beef and cabbage, it just goes, right? I don't think I ever saw my Irish father eat one thing without mustard on it. I'm not joking, <laughs> I'm not joking. And I love mustard too. So what goes in? So you have to put a little booze in it, right? Because it's, it's a leprechaun, he'll get mad at you. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna add a little brandy and then you're gonna add some vinegar, right? So those are gonna really give it a nice kick. We put cayenne pepper, mm. black pepper, a little salt, a little pepper, and then we're gonna do a lot of cayenne. I want this to be hot. Mm. And then a little, just a little bit of that brandy, I'm telling you, it just really makes it a sauce, right? It's very simple to make. Mm. So that's our lucky leprechaun sauce. Now we're gonna put that aside and listen, whether it's St. Patty's Day or not, whether you make corned beef and cabbage or you don't, when you're using a meat like corned beef, it's just really good leftover, right? Like we were yes. talking, corned beef, you said it's a little bit like pancetta. Well, it holds up really well too. It does. And you know, you can have it in the fridge for a week. So yeah. let's make some spring rolls today. I think that would be a fun way to, to make our leftovers if you have corned beef and cabbage for uh, and St. Patty's Day, right? What's better in the air fryer than leftovers? Like, or spring rolls or really nothing, anything, but because now we don't have to drop these in a vat of oil, right? Yeah, and we're using, we're using the dual today, right? That's right, we're using the dual basket air fryer because I made a lot of them because we had a lot of leftovers, and because that's what you do, <laughs> I make too much of everything. So, I take my corned beef and then I chop it up. So, we chop it up because we're gonna put it in a spring roll, right? So, then I had some leftover cabbage, mm. I saute the cabbage with some leeks, put those two together. I get these egg roll wrappers, you guys. If you could just keep some egg roll wrappers in your freezer, I'm telling you, there's so many things you can do with it. I even make dessert with them. I mean, it's just fantastic. You make a little s'mores in here, put oh some God. marshmallows and graham crackers, easy. and then air fry easy, it, easy, boom, easy. it's an easy dessert. So now we're gonna make the spring rolls, it's so easy to do. First, we're gonna start, I'm just gonna put a little bit of our lucky leprechaun sauce on the bottom, <laughs> just cause I like saying that. I know you do. And then I'm gonna put a little extra meat on here. Now what I did is I have some already combined. And you know, it's kind of fun because when you see the cabbage and when you see the corned beef together going on the spring roll, it actually looks like a pork spring roll or a, a vegetable spring roll you get. Like an Asian spring roll. It does. Yeah. And you know, the Asians like to say things are lucky in their cooking That's as true. well. Like red wine is very lucky. They're very into well, the luck. Want to be lucky? Everybody wants to be lucky. Wants to be but lucky. you know, the leprechauns talk about luck. <laughs> And, and they talk a lot about luck in, luck in a Chinese cuisine, right? Okay, so we're just gonna put this here. Now, to roll, it's super oh, wait, simple. Wait, sorry. What? Cheese, please. See? If I forget the cheese, Jessie will forget me. <laughs> <laughs> it's that problem. easy. She does have a problem. Mm -hmm. I think there's like a, a cheese anonymous or yes. something. Mm -hmm. So what you do is you wanna just take one corner up, okay. give it a tuck right? And then you want to pull the other end up, give it a tuck, pull the other end up, give it a tuck, and then give it a roll. It's so much easier than you think it will be. Like, it is, I always thought it would be hard to make egg rolls. Yeah, I know. I, you know, I think it's just like... That was actually super easy. It's super easy. And then when you're done, look, if it's not perfect, just tuck it in. Now it's perfect. So that's all you have to do. What we're going to do then is we're going to air fry them till they're golden brown. And to do that, use a little spray of olive oil. Remember, you don't have to use any fat at all. In fact, you don't need oil, but... Oh, Victoria asks, can yeah. you use Pam cooking spray? You know what? Those kind of oils are okay as long as they're 100% pure because mm. sometimes they have other things in them okay. because they want a high flash point mm. and it doesn't taste good. So make sure it says like 100% olive okay. oil or That's something like know. that. Yeah. Or you could just like drizzle a little bit on if you want to. That's good information, Eric. All you're going to do, the only difference is you're going to get a more of a golden brown. But without it, it still comes great. So in the dual basket, look, we, we use two sides. Mm. Look at that. So I got two, four, six, eight, 12. I could have easily gotten another couple in here. And uh, these have cooled off a little bit, so customer service, don't yell at me. I'm not going in a hot air fryer, I promise. They're just warm. You gotta get your pub sauce ready. I mean, oh, you're lucky. lucky. No, 
Come on, man. <laughs> All right, so this is what they look like when they're done. I'm just gonna, let's hear that Ooh, crunch. I heard it. Oh, yeah. It's crunchy. Oh, yeah. See that? They're steaming hot. Now you just take one of these, give it a dip. Don't burn yourself. <laughs> now Kevin is uh, on camera right here. There's no chance he doesn't want some lucky leprechaun sauce. There's no way he's not gonna eat this. But these are just a fun way to use your air fryer. It's a fun way to use up your leftovers. So listen, I hope you make lucky leprechaun rolls. What do you think, Jess? I think they're gonna make lucky leprechaun rolls. I think so, but you, you have to make the lucky leprechaun sauce to go with it. And hopefully you will share your recipes with us, right? Yes, please. And sorry about the comments today. We're a little, you know, not set up in our normal setup here That's at the right. studio. Mm -hmm. So I will read them later and be sure to respond. As she always does. So I will talk to you guys later. Please Ooh. join us next Thursday. Hey, Joey's birthday. Katie B. I just remembered. Okay. It's her son's 23rd birthday. Oh, Katie B. Happy birthday to your son, right? Yes. Joey. Happy birthday, Joey. All right. And then we have a new friend that's watching today. Her name is Delaney Pepper. Ooh. So hopefully she will comment. I hope she makes these and posts her picture. I'm going to be looking for it. Bye. All right. Bye, guys.